before we get to the top, the, the best picture, let's talk about directing real quick. Uh, the five nominees, David O. Russell for American Hustle, uh, Alfonso Cuaron for Gravity, uh, Alexander Payne for Nebraska, 12 Years a Slave for Steve McQueen, and Scorsese, Martin Scorsese, of course, for Wolf of Wall Street. It's not Bill Scorsese this year. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think I think Gravity is the one that everyone's sort of thinking is going to be the one here. I loved Nebraska. Like I said, it's probably my favorite film of the whole year. Um, 12 Years a Slave is another one that is is right up there. I, th- I think it's probably between Gravity and 12 Years a Slave. I, 12 Years a Slave, I think, is going to win a lot of stuff. I But Gravity was such a complex film to shoot. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Because I feel like Gravity was the one that came out that everyone's like, oh, well, this is just going to win everything. And then as time went on, enough other great films came out to sort of overshadow it. I haven't heard a lot of people talking about Gravity still at this point. I hear everyone talking about 12 Years a Slave. So I think probably 12 Years a Slave um, is here. Although I feel like we uh, – what, what did, does anyone know off the top of their head the stats of directing to best picture? Well, it's it used to be yeah, yeah, almost yeah, a sure close. thing. But in recent years, yeah, that's kind of gone out the window. Yeah. And I know – Since we've started this yeah. conversation, <laughs> I think it's done that. Yeah, I think the buildup to this has been 12 Years a Slave has been winning the, the picture stuff and Quaron has been winning because yeah. uh, he won the Director's Guild, yeah. did he not? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I mean – I got to give a shout out for Scorsese. Uh, it's wonderful. This seventy-one-year-old director is is just angering so many people yeah, yeah. and making a controversial film again. Um, and with so much life, after, in it, with so I much mean, life in yeah. it, and it was just this big crazy, Energy, yeah. this big crazy in your face fun, you know, over the top movie was great. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I think uh, so. I don't know if we're doing this already, but he be should win, and then Quaron will win for me. Yeah. Yeah. But I, my my thing with Scorsese is that a lot of the stuff I I was seeing in the film I had seen before. You know, I yeah. was I was kind of like, okay, this is a lot like this. And there there were some things that I never really like seen Goodfellas him. quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. you know, you know, yeah. to to the point where you know there was just a lot of stuff that I knew was going on. You know, just because that's, you know, Scorsese's thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to complain. It's entertaining. Mm-hmm. Um, so that would be my only kind of knockdown on it is that I, I I was comfortable in sort of – and I felt like it was a little predictable, in it, not only story-wise, but kind of, you know, what I was seeing on, on screen. I, I really wasn't, like, blown away by certain things. Um, the, you know, there, like I said, there was some, some, some stuff. And like you said, 71 years old, can make a movie mm-hmm. like that still – Great, you know, there's a very few guys that can still work that way. Um, I think it's awesome that there's a director named Steve McQueen <laughs> because everybody at the end of that screening was like, "Wait!" Like I heard like my, like, my rrr, 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 rrr. and I was like, "It's not that Steve McQueen, obviously." Yeah. Um, but there's so much there, so many decisions like we talked about to kind of like, no, nope, we're going to keep shooting. You know, we're not going to call cut. We're going to see where this goes. Um, the material obviously not easy mm-hmm. to kind of like we're going to go. That's kind of his all out. signature, though, yeah. making yeah. films of uncomfortable subject matter. Other than you know, uh, there's another director that does it a lot. Uh, he did um, Melancholia. What's his name? Oh, Von, Von Trier. Von, Von Trier. Yeah. It's like <laughs> Steve McQueen is like a notch below Von Trier as far as like very well, uncomfortable filmmaking. I think McQueen is more um, mainstream. Yes, I would say so because I Von Trier is very tough to watch sometimes. Yeah. Um, well, to and I mean to to take the story that he did and make it a mainstream film. Yeah, like, yeah that's true. Is is quite an accomplishment. Mm-hmm. It's never been done before. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so I, yeah. I I I know the narrative is that Quaron's going to win mm-hmm. because he invented a bunch of stuff mm-hmm. and made this spectacle spectacle that made a lot of money, mm-hmm. and and I definitely think he's deserving yeah, of he it. Should be rewarded, I haven't seen yeah. the film, but. I love Children of Men. I love yeah. his past work, and, and yeah. that's kind of the narrative. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is one name I would throw in. I would take out David O. Russell because that was not a good film. And, <laughs> um, and it was not a well-directed film, let's say that. I, I thought there were too many loose things. There's narration at the start, and then there's no narration at the end. I didn't get that. Uh, I, I think Spike Jones did a really great yeah. job on her, and I, I would have yeah. liked to see him recognized. Uh, but if we're going um, who will win, I think Coron will win. Uh, who should win? Uh, Steve McQueen. That's who I would agree with as well. Um, I really hope Steve McQueen wins. I really hope he does because that film was exceptional. Mm-hmm. All right. A Place for Film is recorded at WFIU Studios in Bloomington, Indiana.